Did you know Uranus and Neptune's colours are highly enhanced? Well, that's exactly what we're going to be looking into today, as this was brought to my attention by one of the users in my Discord, so massive thank you to underscore underscore sulfur. Um, they sent me this article made by the BBC actually recently about Uranus and Neptune's two colours. Now, as we've uh, known for a while, the colours that we know and love for Uranus and Neptune, the green and then the blue, or like the turquoise green for Uranus and then the deeper blue for Neptune, they've always been enhanced over what the object actually would have in theory looked like when Voyager flew by. But it's um, come out now um, on the BBC that they've reprocessed the images of Uranus and Neptune to what they in theory should actually look like compared to Voyager's highly enhanced images. And Neptune is a huge change. I'll pop this up on the screen. But Neptune is a lot less blue than we thought it was. Even, with, even before when we've seen images of Neptune in theory reprocessed to look like a more realistic compared to what it looks like on Voyager's cameras. It's a very, very pale shade, and it almost looks almost identical to Uranus's sort of light shade of blue. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to remake those objects in Universe Sandbox, and we're going to sort of compare them to a before and after, and I'll have the images up on the screen of what the reprocessed actual images um, could look like. It looks like um, some astronomers in the UK sort of put this together um, looking on the BBC website. Here, I'll put the source to it all in the link as well in the, in the description, because it's quite interesting. So it was saying originally that the images for Uranus and Neptune especially Neptune, the contrast was really increased to see the cloud features, which made it its really, really deep blow that we all know and love. Like this, for example. So as we can see in Universe Sandbox, they're quite enhanced colours compared to what they actually are. I mean, over the past, we've had some people make more realistic versions before, so I think I've got a copy, I think I've still got it, of like a really sort of realistic looking Neptune. Let's see if I've still got it. I think it's this one here. Now see, even that one is still... Um, still too deep blue compared to what it's actually sh even even that one as well i don't really in theory have a copy of a neptune that's like ultra realistic light blue shaded so what i'm going to do is i'm going to modify just the original neptune in universe and the original uranus i think uranus will be the easier one to work with because uranus has always been quite a pale object even voyager's original images i mean just comparing it to the before and after of the reprocessed image of uranus they still look very similar but the Neptune is the one that's had the big change, but even if I compare it to the Uranus here, in theory, this should be even paler than what it is here. So, for instance, we'll, go to, we'll make a before and after. So, that's a rough indicator of what Uranus, in theory, would look like a bit more. But I'm going to make it off at this Uranus here. So, what we're going to do is, bands, I mean, it's got a high amount of bands, but all of these need to be a lot more pale. So yeah, we'll do we'll do Uranus first and compare it to the images as we go by. So what I'll do is I'll basically make every single band here way more paler. Because every single one of these bands, and just comparing it to the image, you can see Uranus, it, it looks almost white at first glance. It is a very, very light, pale shade of blue. Which is very, very interesting in theory. You would have thought, okay, there may be a little more blue. And Neptune's bluish colour, for instance, that comes from methane absorbing red light. But in this case, it should be a lot dimmer and way less vibrant than originally thought. So I'm going to have a little play here and get these guys really, really pale. So I'll speed up this footage so you guys don't have to watch me do every single colour individually. But I think I'm going to come up with some quite interesting results here. Okay, so that's Uranus complete. It took me a while just to get all the bands exactly roughly the same colour. Because I believe when I did copy them over, I did have one that was slightly out of colour. Right in the centre. So it took me a while to try and figure out which band it was. But comparing it to the actual image that they put out here, it, Uranus is literally completely the same colour all the way around. There's, you can't, there's no features. I know Uranus, when, you, when it's been on like, what's it, effectively X-ray pictures from like the Hubble telescope you could see the pole had a slight different sort of coloring around it but to the naked eye effectively to the cameras Uranus is completely completely bland I mean compare it to this ring here this you can see this has that lighter sort of greenish ring around the deeper um, turquoisey blue that isn't something that you'd see if you just went and saw the planet right now that's an enhanced image with sort of an almost an x-ray taken of it so in theory that's incorrect so i've gone with the completely pale blend so you can see it's even dimmer than this previous version i had here 
and it looks almost completely white but it is a very very pale light blue as we can see here it is extremely bright but comparing it to the image it looks roughly where i want it to be i mean maybe it could be a little more of a sky blue than maybe the turquoise but uranus needs that little it still needs to be distinctively a little more greenish than neptune does but now we're moving on to the challenge because neptune on the other hand is going to be this is going to be a tough one to curate neptune has more features now those bands these could be a little more troublesome but again, Neptune's still, it's still a lot for it. I mean, this pale blue here, in theory, we're going to be wanting to use this colour more. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this colour and roughly paste it over all of the deeper regions and sort of see what it ends up with. So I'm going to start doing this and kind of see what we end up with Neptune-wise. Because in theory, it still has more features than Uranus um, on the front image. And it always has. Neptune's always been more, there's always been more to look at at Neptune than Uranus. But in theory, even then, it's still a lot more pale than originally kind of thought so we're going to completely overhaul neptune you can already see the top of it it's already coming together quite nicely but even that color there comparing it to the image it still looks way too deep blue so i'm going to make the whole object roughly this sort of shade of blue to start to start off with as we can see it's got a transforming over nicely because neptune's a little more interesting so instead of just copy pasting the same color we do need to put a little more in depth there oh that's a little mistake there you go so the deep blues have got to go because we, and unfortunately, they're completely off the charts for anything close to what the real one in theory looks like. So we'll have a before and after sort of up uh, next to each other once we've completed this. But already, I mean, it's getting a little more pale. But again, I still am not really thinking it's close to what it needs to be. I think in theory, it needs to be more like these sort of colours. It's very, very light. It's still a deeper shade than the Uranus, but it needs to be more of this sort of colour, I reckon. So very, very pale blue maybe a little more up there possibly so i'm actually going to use this color we're going to spray this color around a lot more and mix it in because neptune's poles still effectively could be a deeper shade so we'll try and make that work as we mix this all together and sort of see what we come up with so there we go because we are going for a realistic kind of build here so we do need this to look pretty much spot on so again the pale color that's the sort of color i'm looking for so we need to basically shroud the object in this because again the cloud features are less distinct on this sort of realistic image so the, there's does not need to be as much color blending features on the face of the planet so it's really about just getting the same color copy and pasted over and over again until you get something more like this so we'll get rid of those deeper blue shades and i think the poles will make them a slightly deeper blue but we'll come to that shortly First of all, it's just replacing all these colours because we will have to sort of distinguish and we'll make some a, li a little lighter and a little darker. Otherwise, it will just be the same sort of shade, almost like Uranus. But again, Neptune is slightly more distinctive than Uranus colour-wise, going by the image. So it does need to have a it needs to be a little more distinctive looking. So we will again just copy all and paste all of these in here. And maybe we can try and blend it into that blue more at the north. But even that blue at the north, it still looks too enhanced for what I'm trying to build here. So it's all about just putting them together nicely and sort of seeing we have to get a rough idea together and then start to sort of edit it further once we get to the point when we can do that so we just need to basically fade out all of these colors and i think eventually we'll, we'll leave it roughly we'll leave the top roughly like that so then if you can look to uranus you can see it's still a little more distinctively darker blue but it's it's quite it's still, I still think this is too deep blue. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the whole object actually this shade. And then we're going to have an even lighter shade. Sort of, we'll start to mix that in the, the centre and sort of work out of that. So we're going to completely change every single band to this colour. So that gives us that. But again, if we compare it to the original Neptune already, it is completely light and day compared to the original look. I mean, look at the difference of that already. That's already a huge... I think I just spawned its moons in as well. But that's already a huge difference in appearance. So now what we need to do is start customising even more and get an even lighter shade of blue sort of blended in there. So we've got this shade here, but I'm thinking we need something more like this. Effectively. So we'd have to start blending these even lighter blue rings. Something that's distinctively even brighter. So I'm going to start grabbing this colour and start placing this around the planet and seeing what we sort of put together here so let's see how this plays out and we'll try and keep some of those lighter bands in there so that color i just did there i just got rid of that neptune okay that's fine but um what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna recopy this color 
So I want to put that back in there and sort of have these little, maybe these lighter blue shades still mixed in there. Or the deeper blue, I should say. So something like that, maybe just something like that just to begin with. But then again, it's still about copying all this colour over and over again until we get something. So it still looks distinctively a little deeper blue than Uranus. Now, there was actually a reason for that. It did actually say in the article, if I just get it up here, it did actually say that um, with Neptune, Neptune has a slight hint of additional blue, which is a thinner haze layer on the planet. So that's why Neptune had its deeper blue colour initially, and also due to the methane on it absorbing red light. But initially, it was just was a thinner haze. Therefore, the colour stood out a little more than Uranus, because Uranus is very hazy and it's very, very bland on appearance. But Neptune had a little more going for it. But then again, I think, yes, yeah, that's looking good. I think this lighter blue may need to be a little more pale, because we're going to try and blend that nicely together. Let's try and get more in the north as well. But I think we're on the right sort of um, line for this. But what I'll do is, I won't bore you more of me just talking it. I'll speed this up, then we'll be back with you once I've completed this. Okay, everyone, what do you think of that? I've made it very, very pale in some regions, but it still keeps that original sort of distinctive blue. But, I mean, if you look at the bands there, they look almost identical. I mean, there's a few colours you can see are a little different. If I just open there, you got this one. But if you just look carefully, some of them, that one there, for instance, that one's a little brighter. Again, some of there. But they're all very, very similar colours. But I've blended them quite nicely together, I think. Just have those sort of slightly deeper blue patches, because Neptune does have... If you look carefully, you can see it's got those distinctive sort of darker regions along with the much brighter white areas. But I mean, compare if you look at a distance, I mean, they do look fairly similar. You can still see it. Neptune is distinctively deeper, but I do think it's quite a good, um, quite a good replica of sort of what it should be. I mean, in theory, maybe they should be even more white. Maybe the deeper blue shades. In theory, they should be white. But I think that's quite a good sort of benchmark um, on the way to what they were. I mean, again, we'll compare them to the original versions in the game and then also with the images um, that were put up as well. So there's the original Uranus, and I think that's a light and day change. But even Neptune, I mean, just look at the... Look how much more enhanced the ones in the game are now compared to what I've just created here. I think we've made quite a good effort. But I think Uranus, for instance, I, I still think this should actually be a little whiter. So, in theory, I'll do a quick little job here. I mean, we'll just turn this Uranus we can just make it into a one banded version just so we can change the whole color so I don't even think Uranus needs its bands to be honest I think in theory it's so bland that you don't really need all those different um colors anyway because it all just ends up being roughly the same colors so I think Uranus in theory should be even more even more like that in theory just completely completely pale so I mean if I just swap that out with the one I've made and then this this is very very quick little build here I think even that may actually be a better option to use just because of how bland it is. And it, it actually does look even more similar to the Neptune and Chase now it made it brighter. I do think that that is roughly what we're after. It's something like this. I mean, also you can change the the shade of the blue as well. Maybe it needs to be a little slightly less turquoise as well. Something more like that colour, but then just sort of pale that out. So I think, you know, I think that's an, actually an even better example of what we already had to be honest you know i'm actually going to delete this all that time i spent on it but i think that just the one band i think that does it a lot better job and i think that it, it just sort of matches the neptune a little better as well and i think the neptune i think there's definitely room for improvement there but i think that's a good benchmark i mean if anyone would like a copy of this and they want to make a better version of it um let me know and i can send you this object but i think that's um i think those two are quite a good quite a good representation of the image that's been posted so again what i'll do is i'll compare both of these guys to the image on the screen now and sort of see you know what, what you see i'll let you guys be the judge that but is that a good a good effort there or what do you think there'll be some improvements let me know what you think down below but anyways hope you enjoyed this little video of the um Uranus and Neptune sort of recreations with these new reprocessed images of the old Voyager 2 images. And yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below on this topic. And if you want to read more, I'll leave a link into the description um, to the source of where I found this information. And also a massive thank you to again to um, the, uh, the um, guy who sent me the link to this. So his name was underscore underscore sulfur, I believe. He just has a cube as his like Discord thing, but it, when you click on it, it says underscore underscore sulfur. So thank you to them for uh, bringing this to my attention. Yeah, and this was only posted as of filming. It's about 22 hours ago on um, the BBC's website. So quite fresh stuff, fresh news here. So yeah, let me know what you think of that down below in the comments. 
But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to press that like button as well. Leave a comment. Subscribe for more. Helps the journey up to 40,000 subscribers. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.